This segment follows the movement of a mob of cattle through a set of cattle yards. Starting with a large mob in the receival yard, the cattle are moved through the working area until they eventually move up the race and into the crush. It demonstrates some good aspects of cattle handling, as well as problems that may be encountered, but overcome with more thought or planning. Cattle yard design varies enormously, from some very good circular designs to some old square designs. Good handling techniques can make even poorly designed yards work satisfactorily. Using some basic principles, handling the cattle quietly and with patience, most problems can be overcome, making the cattle yards an enjoyable place to work. Here, two handlers attempt to move a mob of about 35 head through the yard gate. They correctly walk up the right side of the yard, aiming to move the cattle along the fence. They move into the flight zone of the mob, and the cattle respond by moving towards the gate. Little pressure is applied to the lead cattle at the front of the mob, which soon becomes a problem. The mob has horned and polled cattle, and the dominant red steer soon interferes with the flow. Working only from the back, the handlers provide little incentive for the leaders to move through the gate. With little space to move, the back cattle turn to face the handler and look to escape by heading in that new direction past the handlers. The handlers have another go. They stand back a bit from the mob, effectively preventing the back cattle escaping. Yet, still little pressure is applied to the lead cattle, and there's not a lot of incentive to go through the gate. Some turn to face the mob and want to come back through the gate. Even applying more pressure at the back of the mob would not fix this problem. These handlers need to think about positioning themselves better. Now a third handler steps up to help. It's not so much the additional help, but rather where this person stands. Standing at 90 degrees to the gateway, and just inside the leader's flight zone, the cattle now flow through the gateway. It didn't actually need three handlers to do the job. One of the original two could have stood forward and put pressure on that lead cattle in the same way. The handler now moves the cattle into the circular drafting yard. It's a good design, and cattle can be drafted up to five ways. The handler only half fills the yard, which allows the cattle to turn and makes for easy drafting. The cattle are now let into the forcing yard. It's a long, narrow yard. A better design would have been slightly wider, but still with the correct angle at the race entrance. The handler's attempt to get a race full of cattle in one go means he has put too many in the force yard. The cattle are unable to turn when they're this crowded. This yard should have only been half filled, or preferably had the race gates left open. With the race gates shut, the handler has to move up the race to open these gates. The cattle would have filled the race better if the handler had all the race gates open as he filled the force area. Instead, the smooth movement of the cattle is interrupted at each stage through the yards 
and the race. See how the cattle have only room to turn after a couple have left the force area and moved into the race. Cattle will feel a curved race easier than a straight race. As the handler walks up the race, the cattle ahead move forward. He then turns and walks past the rest of them. As he moves past their shoulder, they move forward. When using the crush and the head bale to restrain an animal, the correct procedure is this. Have the head bale closed, let the animal into the crush, allow it to become stationary, then open the head bale. Catch and restrain the animal. If the animal struggles, wait until it is stationary before you release it.